When the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. When analyzing Revelation 6 from an astrological perspective, the Lamb represents Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, and each horse represents the color of the sky at the equinoxes and solstices. A horse in ancient literature was used to represent either a journey across land or a journey over time. In this case, each horse represents a specific time period. The colour of the horse symbolises the destination and the rider's accessories offer clues as to the starting point of his journey. I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say, in a voice like thunder, Come! I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. The white horse represents the colour of the sky at its brightest. This is found at midday, or the summer solstice. The bow held by the rider represents cardinal fire energy of Mars in Aries, the old god of war. A crown was given to him as he went out conquering and to conquer. The word crown comes from the Latin corona. Although the coronavirus outbreak began in November 2019, the pace of its acceleration really took off around the spring equinox of 2020, falling back by the summer solstice. As each seal is opened by the Lamb, this suggests a new cycle through the zodiac for each consecutive seal. When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come. Then another horse came out, a fiery red one, its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other. To him was given a great sword. The red horse represents the colour of the sky at sundown and therefore the autumn equinox. The sword in occult circles, especially tarot, represents the element of air. Gemini is an air sign ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication, suggesting a time period just prior to the summer solstice, ending around the autumn equinox. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other. To him was given a great sword. period, the third seal suggests a shortage of food, followed by the fourth seal, suggesting widespread death from famine and plagues. When the Lamb opened the third seal, 
I heard the living creatures say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures, saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages, and six pounds of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage the oil and the wine. When the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague and by the wild beasts of the earth. Is it the case that the global cabal, a clique of wealthy individuals, are using biblical prophecy as a blueprint for their future business plans and aspirations?